<laughs> you don't have to be royal to look divine. You just have to get that polished look. We have Candace Bucket, owner of Diesel's Salon, here to show us how to get the royal look on an everyday budget and, and look polished every day. Well, we were just joking that this look, these flyaways, this is not the polished look. But you're going to tell us what it is. <laughs> right. Well, the sun kind of shows all our little flyaways, so here we are. Um, so here we have Megan, and so we have all the clothing um, provided to us by Brooke Brothers. But with Megan, you know, this is a very polished look. She, she looks, looks like a perfect. lady. She looks great. But um, later on, I'll give you tips on a healthy glow and brows and so forth. But we did something really subtle with her makeup because the simple is better. But really what can ruin a look is if you have brassy hair. And so if you want to take that for me. So with her, you know, we, we have a, a situation where it's a color corrective. A lot of people are taking um, the limits on their own and kind of doing colors at home and trying to mm -hmm. duplicate what you get in the salon. But you got to leave it to the pros. That sort of looks like yeah. what I used to do with my hair when I would do it at home. And it, I'd get the, that brassy, yellowish color rather than the thing. But right. this is okay because it's, we're going to fix it all later. Yeah, we, make sure okay. yeah so we're going to fix this later. She's coming right back to the salon. But, you know, something like this, it's going to wash her out. Her skin her skin's a little bit too pale, so it's absolutely uh -huh. going to wash her out. Right. So we want to go something with a little bit more chocolate, a little bit more vibrance. Her hair, um, her brows are a little bit darker. Her eyes are a little bit darker, so it looks good. It complements her skin. So you absolutely. don't want anything that doesn't actually complement your skin tone. So, um, yeah, so she'll be a chocolate brown later with a little bit more richness and cocoa to it, too. That's going to look so great with her skin tone. It's amazing how with the hat on, like, she looks so polished, like, really like a lady. Yeah. And then you take it off, and it's so different. Right. right let's, let's bring in our next model. So our next model is Olivia. And with her, too, it's a great outfit. It's really nicely done, soft and simple. But when you move her hair back, you can see the difference between drawing on an eyebrow and just kind of lightly dusting with an angled brush. Oh. So you want to kind of do it a sweeping motion. You know, tame your brows, shape them, decide what shape you want to do. You can tweeze them if you'd like. If they're really, really thick eyebrows, you might want to consider getting them waxed. Wait, which one do you want? Do you want to? Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm like, they I don't know which one me. do you want. You know? I think they both look great. I think so the you, one you, the, This one is really harsh. So it's, it's edgy, it, it, I was going to say. Yeah, it really has a harsh look. So if you want a softer, if you're going for a little bit more simple, a little okay. bit more polished, you want it to be lightly brushed on. You can do it with an angled brush, and you just go on and you just add hair. So it's not like you're adding a hair stroke with oh, a pencil, okay. you're adding it with a brush. So little tiny. Yeah, oh, so you're just adding pieces coming on of me. hair. Okay, all right, she looks great. Let's go yeah. ahead and bring out our final model over here. So our final model is Christine, also a polished look. She looks great. Her hair complements her skin tone. Her eyebrows are softly drawn in. Her makeup's soft. You know, it's really simple. It's modern, but it's not too trendy with a, with a whole eyeshadow. But it mm -hmm. is a smoky light brown and really subtle lips, too. Um, and then, you know, everyone can do a, a quick mani-pedi at home. So there's no reason to have chip nails or kind of look mm -hmm. unpolished. That, that kind of sends a little laziness. You know, when you go to a date or an interview, you need to look 100%. And that's something I do in interviews. I always look at their toenails, to their nails, to their hair. You know, so I think it, it, for anybody, you can translate this to your lifestyle. Absolutely. Well, thank you. These are great tips. And uh, definitely sometimes you got to just take the time for yourself and, and get all those nice little eyebrows and nails done and stuff like that. And if you want to reach Candace at Diesel Salon, you can go to our website, click on the scene on tab. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for that. Well, San Diego Mayor Jerry Sanders.